Sikorsky S-92 flying to an offshore oil platform on March 7th became the first aircraft to use a new real-time health and usage monitoring system, HUMS, on a commercial service. The aircraft, operated by PHI Inc., is fitted with new technology developed by PHI in partnership with Sikorsky and Metro Aviation that the companies say is a major safety breakthrough. Traditional HUMS requires the data to be downloaded upon landing, but the S-92 is capable of transmitting this data via satellite during flight. Real-time HUMS gives us the ability to understand what is going on in board, on board one of our aircraft in case there's a malfunction on board. Historically, aircraft have taken off, they've been by themselves. The crew has to see a light come on and they are literally alone. Real-time HUMS sends the information back, the health of the aircraft back to us, the ground station. We are now participatory in that process. We can look at the health of the aircraft, communicate back to the air crew so that they have a better understanding of what really is going on with that aircraft to help them make the decisions necessary to have a favorable outcome. The data essentially is initiated by seven events. They really revolve around the gearbox of the engines. Once one of those initiates in the aircraft, then the aircraft then transmits back to the ground station in our, our facility the actual HUMS data, process HUMS data that comes off the aircraft. So we've trained our comm specs how to look at the data, not actually do trending analysis, because Sikorsky and the development of this made it very easy. The first thing we get is an ICAST page, and that just says what it is. The next page they look down is a series of bar graphs associated with that event, and those bar graphs essentially tell them the health of that system, green, yellow, red. The vast majority of the time, it will all be green. But imagine you're flying along and you want to know, and someone back is looking at that data and telling you, hey, everything is in the green so far. That's, that's very comforting. If you're up in the air at 7,000 feet, IFR, hard IFR, and the light comes on, and you can get that type of confidence that something is, is going on, but it's all within the parameters, it's all uh, going to be okay, that's a great confidence builder. This is part of a wider effort to make the most of HUM's equipment. Heli Offshore, the industry-backed not-for-profit group working on improved safety in offshore helicopter operations, has developed an ever-evolving HUM's best practice document to help implement the technology effectively. We've got about 40 HUMS experts from across the world that are working together on the implementation of the best practice, and we've set up a collaboration tool that can be used by people from around the world 24-7, and they can share ideas, they can take data, they can help answer each other's questions, and we're really trying to ensure that this thing gets rolled out, it gets used, it gets upgraded if it needs to be, and it's really having the desired effect on safety in the front line.